welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo, and I really don't like change. For example, I still have my childhood blankie, and to answer your next question, yes, I was circumcised in it. Sometimes change is good and desperately needed in a franchise like Call of Duty. Every year in November, gamers play Imaginary War and complain that the latest Call of Duty is the exact same as all the other Call of Duties. I somewhat agree with this way of thinking. There's definitely a formula and a repeated pattern happening with the Call of Duty games. It doesn't take a video game savant to discover this repetition. I think I do deserve a nice plaque for the wall, though. But from a business standpoint, it is genius. Activision is making boatloads of money from us every year. I also find it amusing that a lot of gamers always claim that they enjoyed the previous version of Call of Duty more than the latest version, even though it's the same, and this is said year after year. So developers just can't win. Change the game too much and gamers become angry, or don't change the game enough and gamers become angry. We should take some anger management courses, or get real problems, one or the other. As you know already, Sledgehammer Games is working on the latest Call of Duty titled Advanced Warfare. You know, the one with Frank Underwood and the Elysium-style exoskeletons. So it appears that Sledgehammer Games is really changing up the Call of Duty formula, but at the same time catering to Call of Duty purists. Not only are they adding the exoskeletons, which completely changes the movement and adds a dodge and double jump to the gameplay, they are reintroducing a third-person perspective option. Michael Condry, co-founder of Sledgehammer Games, confirmed this on Twitter when someone asked, will there be a third-person option? Michael responded, not at launch. Now we don't know what mode the third-person option will be featured in, but it'll most likely be a multiplayer playlist option. Something very similar was also done with Modern Warfare 2. Sledgehammer Games has experimented with the idea of a third-person Call of Duty title before, but that project was canned. Like my dreams of becoming a dancer. I'm bull-legged. Also back in May, Michael Condre confirmed during an interview that there would be traditional playlists in Advanced Warfare, meaning you'll be able to play a slew of multiplayer modes without the exoskeleton or the dodge and double jump mechanics. Sledgehammer Games is really changing up the gameplay mechanics, but at the same time giving us the option to play Call of Duty the traditional way, which is probably a smart move. Gamers love choice. So if Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was a human, it probably would swing both ways, like a transgendered prostitute or John Travolta, which means if you don't like the new exoskeleton, in gameplay? No problem. Turn it off in multiplayer. You prefer third-person shooters? No problem. The feature will be added after launch. I just hope the new Call of Duty doesn't turn into a jack of all trades and a master of none. I, I feel so warm inside when I get to say jack. I'll leave links to my sources down below beside my exoskeleton underpants. What do you think of Advanced Warfare so far? Let me know in the comments section. I think the franchise is finally leaving its comfort zone and this will be the biggest change yet, whether it's good or bad. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare comes out on November 3rd of this year for the PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the PC. My condolences to the Wii U players. You can follow me on Twitter free of charge. I just need a lock of your hair and two dollops of your very own feces. I don't want someone else's poo, I want your poo. On Twitter, I'll keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. Thank you very much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm grateful for your existence, and I'm so glad that you found me in this digital playground. Now, could you please stop showing up to my work and asking me for a soft kiss? Have some confidence and just go in for a hard one. Hey, Mike, how's it doing? Mwah! Hard kiss. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Mwah! Hard kiss. It's simple as that. It's not brain surgery. It's not rocket science. It's kissing. It's making people wet.